Hello and welcome back to the Squirrel Heat YouTube channel and what I'm going to be doing for you today is just an update on what is going to be coming in the, for the channel in the next week. Now it's going to be a little bit iffy because we've got some stuff going on that we need to be working on um, it, outside of doing videos and stuff like that so I'm going to have a couple of videos here and there. Um, there's not necessarily going to be any breaking news videos so I'm just not going to have the opportunity to do so. Um, we're just too busy at the moment behind the scenes from away from all of this. Um, what you will get is you'll have a couple of gaming videos, so we'll obviously have another instalment of a Zelda one. I'm actually going to be recording that after this video today. Um, today is Friday, by the way, Friday evening, um, or afternoon, I should say. Um, so we're going to get a couple of scheduled scheduled videos in there as well. Um, stuff like some of the FIFA ones, once I've sorted the audio out on the new one, because the last one was fucking awful. I don't, like, the episode was good, in my opinion, just the audio on the voice just went um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet, but nah, we'll get there, we'll get through it. Um, I am going to be doing episode number two of Outlast, I've just, for um, for reasons that are for me alone, um, I've wanted to avoid doing, um, like, violent uh, jump scare games at the moment, so I've just wanted to avoid those, not terrified of the game, just obviously things going on, I wanted to avoid that for now, um, but they will be coming back because I really do enjoy that game, Zelda's going to be coming, FIFA's going to be coming, we're going to have loads of those, like a good couple of those videos to keep us going through next week. I am doing a video also on who I think should be the next England manager. Um, I've got that to come out next week. It should be dropping maybe about Tuesday. Um, the only reason I might not put it out is if any news changes in terms of the England manager's position by then. If it does change, then yes, I probably won't put it out because it'll look stupid um, if it's changed. the situation has changed since I've recorded it. Um, so I should be recording that tomorrow. We'll see what happens on that front uh, as the week goes on. Um, then I'm wanting to do a FIFA player prediction for FIFA 17, and this is going. This is going to be going on the Euro 2016, the um, uh, what is it, the Copa America as well, and also obviously the season that we've just had in football for the 15-16 season. Looking ahead to the 16-17 season and what the ratings of certain players are going to be. For instance. What are the ratings of the Chelsea players going to be after the bombing season that they just had, like where they where they've only just been able to scrape, not necessarily scrape, they didn't scrape into tenth or ninth position. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was just below Liverpool in eighth, um, <laughs> which says a lot. But um, like, what are the Chelsea players' ratings are going to do? Because they never ever, I don't think, have taken a player. I think apart from maybe Falcao and Van Persie, who have had like eighty eight ratings. Someone like so Eden Hazard was eighty nine this year. Is he all of a sudden going to drop? Or are they, uh, EA going to be reluctant to drop a rating like that for a player like that? Who knows? But I want to do some predictions of what I think they should be. And then obviously when FIFA 17 comes out, I'll do a comparison and of whether I think they're right or wrong. What I'm also working on at the moment as well is I'm wanting to look ahead to... And I want to get some of your guys, you guys' ideas as well um, about the perspective. Like for the first game of the Liverpool season, what the starting eleven sh you think should be at that point. And that's just at this point now. I'm not anticipating that we're going to make any landmark signings apart from possibly maybe another defender due to the injuries we've now got. Um, prolonged injury again, um, or I should say uh, an injury hindrance to Joe Gomez that we've got, which is unfortunate. And Mamadou Sako, poor guy. He comes back from being cleared um, from doping allegations and he's out for three to four weeks. Poor guy, but... You know, maybe we might go in for another for a central defender. I know that Subotic was linked, but I think he's on for a Middlesbrough move to eight for eight million, which would be disappointing. But um, what would your starting eleven be at the start of the season, very first game of the season? Obviously, after preseason and everything like that. What would your first eleven be, and why? And what I want to do is I want to do one for myself as well. Um, and we'll keep. I want to keep that going for the whole Premier League season. So we're gonna have. Quite a lot of videos coming in the new in the new season. Um, along with this video, actually, I might as well do that. Basically, what I'm going to try and do for every Liverpool game, and I know that you can probably hear a frigging aeroplane or helicopter in the frigging background out my window. Shut up. What I'm wanting to do is I want to do videos for every Liverpool game. So maybe a preview of the of the of the uh, game itself. Who do I think is going to play? How do I think we're going to do? And try and be as honest about it as I can be, even though I am obviously a Liverpool fan. I'm realistic. Um, I'm not one of those that thinks we're going to smash everybody left, right and centre and because it, it's not going to happen. I, I don't think it's going to happen. I think it could, but it's not going to happen. And I'm going to be realistic about how we're going to do against certain teams 
give some predictions, maybe previews, who's going to be playing, who I expect to be playing, and then do a re- review of that um, the next day or after the game. Or if I can do one, I would do one on the night, but I'm not entirely sure whether I'll be able to do that, um, obviously just with um, how life is. You know, I'm just never, not necessarily going to have the time to do it of an evening straight after a game or something like that. Um, maybe one day. Maybe one day, guys. Um, and then I want to do it for the rest of the Premier League. Now, the, the thing with the rest of the Premier League games, though, is that I'll probably only review... I'll probably maybe do, like, short predictions, but I want to do, like, snappy predictions. Like, so I want to do, like, maybe um, one-minute predictions of the other games and do a little bit of an in-depth one for the Liverpool game. So that might be two separate videos. So I'll do, like, the rest of the Premier League and then do Liverpool versus whoever we're going against at that point. Um... And then I'll do reviews of those as well. So I'm going to be pretty constant and try and do as many of those types of videos as I can. Now, if you guys are receptive to it, I would like to do some La Liga ones as well. Because obviously the Premier League, I do enjoy. I love the Premier League, but I do get to watch quite a lot of La Liga as well. Um, it's unfortunate about the other ones, that, like the Italian League and Bundesliga and stuff like that. I don't get to watch. Uh, maybe the odd game here or there, it would be unfair for me to start going, well, I'll do predictions on these guys. Never fucking seen any of them before. It's, yeah, it's not realistic, so I'm probably going to try and avoid that bombshell and stop not going to commit to that because I don't think I'd be able to do it anyway. Um, But I can certainly do the Premier League, I think. I can certainly do, obviously, Liverpool's, um, which I'm doing through pre-season at the moment. I hope you're enjoying that one, those ones, by the way. Um, and we'll certainly try and do the rest of the Premier League, Cup games, all that sort of business. I will do some Champions League and Europa League ones as well because I am interested, even though we're not in the competitions ourselves, I'm interested to see who's going who's going through through uh, of the English clubs um, like Man, Man United and West Ham. I think I think West Ham have got qualifiers and then obviously who's going through uh, in the Champions League and who's going through qualifying. I can't remember who finished fourth last season. Was it? It was Man City. Um, so like Man City should smash qualifying you'd hope well you'd hope if you're Man City but I want to cover all of that anyway basically that's a long long explanation for something that could have been really short but that's just me anyway um, so that's what I'm going to be doing I hope you guys are receptive to that one as well Um, obviously when FIFA 17 drops I will be I've got it pre I've got it pre-ordered already ready to go it'll be delivered on the day that it is released I'm not on Xbox I'm on PS4 so obviously when it's on Xbox you get EA access. I'm not going to have EA access. I'm not going to have access to it um, before it comes out, which is unfortunate. And obviously, the way that it is with uh, PS4 and Xbox, I'm not going to have any legends, which means at the moment, I'm still never going to be able to do my Robbie Fowler's Road to Glory, which is fucking gutting because I would love to do it. But that's just how that's just how the cookie crumbles. Uh, I'm not buying an Xbox just to play FIFA. So no. Um, but I will be going through that. I'm going to explore every single part of FIFA 17 when it comes out. The career mode, the the journey, which I'm intrigued about. I've got some thoughts on it, and I've got some thoughts that I've uh, from a mate of mine as well, who's a bit concerned about it as well. Like that, how it's not editable. Like you've got to use the player name of Alex Jackson, I think it is, or something like that. Um, and it has to be that, and it has to be this. Like even NBA 2016, you can customize your player. Um, like and it's in, it's part of a story mode. So NBA 2016, you create. You know, I call my like in my game. I haven't put it on the channel because I'm shit at the game. I'm absolutely bollocks at it. Um, but I enjoy basketball, and I thought I'd give it a shot. And it was a free on the PlayStation Store. So I figured I'd download it, give it a shot. Started this career mode, and it's pretty entertaining. Um, going right through like the school program of basketball, a like, couple of games there, and then you get choose choose a college, and then obviously you got to see if you can progress or if you have to stay down in the ranks. You can imagine where I'm staying. Um, I've got to stay and do another year at school yet. Not fun, but it's fully like customized. You can make your player look like you. You can call him whatever you wanted to, different nicknames and stuff like that. Why they couldn't do that for the journey? It would have made it so much more customizable and. How easy would it have been to then just open it up and have be able to even use like the top, the top leagues? So so far, I think the journey is limited to uh, the Premier League. Okay, right. Maybe there might be some DLC or like an update that later on in the uh, when, when when FIFA's out and later on, you'll be able to go and play in La Liga or you'll be able to play in the Bundesliga. Or you could go and play in Serie A, or you could go and play in League or wherever. You could go anywhere you wanted to. Um, obviously, there's so many leagues in this world, you're not going to be able to go, right, I want to start off in, 
Now, it'd be nice to do, actually, if you, right, I want to start off in League 2 and you want your player to, like, develop and work all the way up the leagues and do maybe a Jamie Vardy sort of story with your character. It's kind of eliminated all of that and you've got to basically stay in the Premier League and just see how you do, see how you develop, which is cool. But then, for me, I'm more interested... I've always been more interested in what are they going to do with the career mode? This is actually not really turned into an update video for the channel whatsoever. It's turned up into a what I'm expecting. And I also want to see what improvements that they're doing for Ultimate Team. And the online modes as well, like the online seasons, the pro clubs and stuff like that. There's tons of games that are going to be dropping it around the November time. I think we all know what they are. Call of Duty, I'm probably going to avoid. I'm just not a fan of the series anymore. Um, I loved it. I, I even accepted Modern Warfare 3. I thought that was a pretty decent gameplay one for the, um, for the campaign. Multiplayer, I've never really been the biggest fan of multiplayer on Call of Duty because it seems like if you don't get it on release date and start playing, you're behind forever. It's always got, It always seems to be the way. You're behind forever, you're going to get annihilated no matter how far you get. Um, Battlefield 1, very excited to see that. I hope it's going to be a, quite a long campaign because the only part that Battlefield really failed for me in recent years is the campaign. You can blast out in about three hours and then it's all about multiplayer. And I'm not just about multiplayer games. I like being able to, I was brought up playing games that like Zelda, like the series I'm doing at the moment, where you can play a lot and it's got a lot to offer in that single player mode. Everything now seems so geared towards, you buy this game, there's this little thing called a campaign, they might as well call the campaign just training and then you go play online and then you develop and I don't like that, I'd rather that games allowed you to explore so much and get so much out of a single player that you don't necessarily have to be playing online. Well, that's just my personal opinion. Um, that's all I can say, really. But we've got Battlefield coming out. There's going to be a fair few games coming out. Um, I bought Fallout months and months ago, and I need to finish that as well. There's so many games that I need to finish. I need to finish Uncharted 4 as well. There's just not enough time, time in the day, guys. There's just not enough time in the day. But we're going to try and see what we can do. I'm always going to try and do the best that I can with this channel. It's, I just want to I just want to see how things do. I like putting videos out there. It's not about getting subscribers and stuff like that for me. It's nice to see the subscribers going up, and you guys are absolute legends. Like every week, I seem to check in, and there's a couple more subscribers, and that's and that's really quite cool. Um, and it's awesome to see some of you obviously giving some comments and stuff like that. Um, interacting with you guys is really important for me. I just find it a lot of fun. It's not something that I'm ever expecting to turn into a moneymaker. If it ever did, pfft, life would be a dream and it would I would be living a dream. That would be amazing. But for now, I just I love doing this for fun. And it really is a lot of fun doing it. I love doing the editing, playing all the games, doing all the videos, doing some like analysis, stuff like that. Maybe getting some shit in comments and stuff like that. But that's inevitable with the way the internet is. Um, but I love doing it. You guys are legends. I hope that I can keep you guys watching get some guy, more guys subscribed as well maybe and just again i just like engaging with people getting my thoughts out there seeing what your thoughts are anyway enough of this waffling on if you've enjoyed the video please drop a like on it if there's any suggestions that you guys have for like games that you might i might want to play so there's a game that i'm going to be going through as well called rogue legacy it's like kind of like one of those older um it's like a 2d platform rolling game and it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a modern one, modern take on one. And it's it's a lot of fun. I want to bring that uh, onto the uh, channel. Maybe do one or two episodes because like, I get pretty frustrated with it because I'm shit at it. Um, but if there's any suggestions that you guys have in terms of games and stuff like that or things that you might want content-wise for me to try and do, let me know um, and I'll see what I can do. But please, like the video, subscribe if you're new. Thank you everybody that subscribes and watches. You have no idea how much I appreciate all your comments, your watches, your likes, everything like that. Subscribe for more, and I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.